All right, guys, I don't know if I need to be humbled, but um, I made a website today and I'm feeling really good about it. So um, first off, I'm going to put a VSL here of some sort. If you don't know what that means, it's just it traditionally means like a video sales letter. And that would be like someone like a guru trying to sell you a course, if you know what I mean, if you've ever been on a site like that. But um, I think it's going to basically be a screen recording of me explaining the process because a lot of these traditional or a lot of the marketing agencies that are like big right now um, kind of don't do it this way. And I don't think they'd be very transparent about what they do. So I think this would be a major way to stand out. I really like these buttons a lot. I didn't design these, but I pulled them from a uh, Framer component. I designed this website in Framer. And we have a little bit of a blurry, frosty glass effect right here. Um, my head in the video is covering um, my phone number which I put like a business phone number or like a, I bought another phone number with um, Google workspaces. So I don't really want you guys texting me right now. No offense. Um, anyways, I'll stop yapping and show you the rest. So uh, shout out GPT five thinking. I have kind of been running this entire project through GPT five. Um, and so I had it generate me a bunch of kind of these headers and I really liked this, but I hated the text that it made with this. And so it took about, three to five tries to land on built to be booked. I thought this was super good. And then, um, this was probably about three to five other tries. I know it's like really simple text, but I think it's really important that these top, um, uh, especially these top two are very, I, I don't know, confidence inspiring and they feel right. Um, I don't think there's much of a point in making a website if things like this aren't well looked after. Um, and then I wanted to say that this screenshot here, um, obviously I haven't had any clients yet, so I can't really just be using people's likeness. So, um, I made up a dentist office, made up the name, um, made up the address and these pictures are AI generated. And then, and then I made mockups using Figma. Um, these are all, these are all real, but I, since I, I'm not really focusing on, on them, it doesn't, I don't think it matters. Um, I thought this was pretty good. Um, pretty confident in this statistic. I mean, it, it's hard to find, like, you can't find like a universal or like a university, you know, like a super nice survey about uh, anything like this. You kind of just got to hope that the, inf the info you find is right. And I'm fairly confident that this is true because I mean, who isn't like Googling shit nowadays? Um, put that mock-up that I made right here for scene dental. I think it's okay that that's obviously a placeholder, whatever. Um, the medical industry is very, sp very strict with like data in general. So I think it's appropriate to use, um, mockups. I think that's fine. Um, and then I made a stats section with the same AI generated dentist identity. And basically what we're trying to communicate here is that the Google business profile is an important thing to get right. If you go on here, or if you've ever been searching for a place on the maps, which a lot of people do, um, the owner of the site won't upload their own pictures. And so naturally it'll pull pictures from the reviews. And so if some old lady just decides to take a selfie and you don't have any of your own photos, she uploads her selfie to the reviews. The, the reviews are getting her selfie right front and center. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that before, but I've seen that over several occasions. So, um, this is the stats section. And I think all of these are very relevant. This is actually from a study in Google. Yeah. I mean, if your conversion rates like even like 4% or something, I guess eight to 10% isn't huge, but it, it sounds good. And I, I still, you know, eight to 10% isn't nothing. Um, so very relevant. And then down here, um, this is totally incomplete. And I think this is a little too many words. I'm also not sure I even want to be this specific. Cause I think this, I, th I think there's something to be said about when you give people too many questions or make people wonder too much. It's kind of like, like the, there's a sweet spot where you don't want to spam people with a ridiculous amount of information, but you also don't want to give people nothing. Um, I'm also totally catching myself overthinking everything about this. This is um, honestly taking me all day if I'm entirely honest with you guys. Um, so <laughs> I'm kind of doing it again where I get super obsessed and I, I basically designed this like five different times before I decided I wanted to go this route. Um, so I'm being a perfectionist, but I really just want to ship something I'm proud of at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, I think all of this stuff is good. Um, I just think it's a little bit wordy and maybe we don't want to let people in on this much. Um, also I'm glad that these videos are getting no views. Cause I mean, if they were getting like a hundred thousand views, then I'm sure someone would 
copy me copy me one to one but i know you guys wouldn't do that so um yeah obviously we got the framer the templates here but i think all of this stuff looks really nice i think this is um totally giving off the energy we want um i'm gonna totally angle this as a separate thing oh yeah i forgot to mention of course i'm sure you guys saw but nice little sticky header up here um so that uh the call to action and the phone number that i have over here is always visible um so yeah i think i can angle this as a totally separate thing from you know any other den dental agencies it, i mean it's literally night and day in the industry if you guys have done if you guys have been watching and you've done any research for your own you'll see what i mean it's like it is it, it's primal out here so um even just a simple clean site like this i think is going to be a game changer and then once this site is made and done and um and up i bought a domain and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna just you know let it let it go let it go crazy um i think i might start trying bulk cold emails and then i spoke to a, i spoke to a web designer this morning who reached out to me actually via youtube comments and um he actually followed through and we got on a call he basically told me I had the right idea about making looms and, you know, offering the free website upfront kind of thing. And I think especially with this almost software as a service looking angle that we have and the, this aesthetic here, I almost feel like this kind of, this is the right kind of brand identity to have because um, if you look too solo and too non like startup-y, I think, um, I think offering free shit kind of makes you look not very valued like if you're offering a mock-up up front but i think to me this communicates just enough like technical vibes where um it seems a little more appropriate to just give shit away for free um because it seems almost like i don't know i really can't put into words what i'm thinking but that's just how i'm feeling so yep just wanted to show you guys that that is day 15 hope you all enjoyed don't copy my shit please thank you bye